Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ, and today I will be doing a highly requested video. The highly anticipated shelf tour. So today I will be doing a tour of my bookshelf and everything that's on it. And you'll see it all today. Or maybe tomorrow. Whatever you want. Let's dive right in. Okay, before we get started on a more deep look, here is an overview of the entire shelf. Now, it's pretty crowded, and there's a lot to look at. So, first of all, this shelf, I think we got at Ikea back in 2016 when we moved here. And, yeah, this shelf has been through many changes. I, of course, did not have all of this when we moved, but now I do. And let's take a look at the side. There's some, there's a few stickers here. It says, um, you shall not pass. This is a Snorlax. says Gandalf. And we've got some other various stickers. Uh, Mario, Super Mario Boo. Who are going to call Ghostbusters? So yeah, that's the entire shelf. I mostly collect the um, Nintendo Amiibo figures. The Marvel Legends by Hasbro and the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, also by Hasbro. I have some Star Wars figures, but I don't have a lot. I only have like three or four, so they will not be seen on this shelf. And this also, this just this bottom shelf, um, it's not really anything, it's just kind of storage for um, Lego stuff. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so starting at the very, very top, we have just a few little things up here, not too much. We have a Silver Mario Amiibo that I got in 2015, I think. So I like to have him, it looks like a trophy. Got the Disney Store 25th Anniversary Vinylmation. Back when that was a thing, I don't know when, when year that was. And at the very top in the center, we got the Collector Funko Pop figure. Or bobblehead, I think this is a bobblehead. And I got this at California Adventure by the Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout ride because this is the statue at the queue for Mission Breakout. And I like having him at the top because it's um it's like my collection. And he's a collector. Alright, let's get into the first top shelf. So starting at the back we have Two Funko Pops from the Marvel Collector Core subscription service that Funko does or did. I don't know. But I have a... This is from the Captain America Civil War box. It's Iron Man versus Captain America. I like this one. Also down here is a, a pin. Or, yeah, pin. Up here, we have Doctor Strange from the Doctor Strange box. It's kind of like the, the astral projection version. And we also have... A Squirrel Girl pop vinyl. I think this was from the Women of Power box. And we also have seen some Zoom Zoom vinyl figures. These are not the plush ones, but these are vinyl figures. I got these, I want to say at Kohl's, maybe, or Kmart, I don't know. But it's a six pack, has a Nick Fury, Black Widow, Modern Captain America, Classic Captain America, Falcon, and Bucky, the Winter Soldier. And we also have Spider-Man from the Spider-Man Homecoming box. And Mystique, who is not a Funko Pop, but is a figure from the X-Men. So back, like, um, what they're on top of is various pop vinyls. Um, these are kind of just used for, for more protection, I guess, so the figures can stand easier. So... Yeah, they're, they're not really displayed nicely, but I think these are metal die casts of, of Iron Man, I think. Have a Deadpool pop vinyl. Have some fabrications, Funko fabrications. Soft sculptures by Funko, uh, Spider-Man, and Thor. I think those were gifts. And back here we have, I believe this is Captain America. <laughs> okay. So, yes, yeah, so we're just going to go left to right for most of this. This shelf is basically miscellaneous Marvel heroes and also villains. So the main heroes 
are later down, but this is kind of just extra movie figures that I have, because I mostly collect the movie figures. So we have the Black Panther kind of crew over here. Got T'Chaka, Killmonger, uh, Ao, uh, Killmonger in his uh, Golden Jaguar suit. Got Everett Ross, um, Andy Serkis' character, what's his name? Claw, Ulysses Claw. We have two characters from Captain Marvel. Um, Mar Marvel, and I don't know her name. <laughs> Oops. But yeah, those are two characters from Captain Marvel. I have Iron Fist up here, which is actually a comic book figure, but he's up here for right now. We got Ebony Maw, Thanos, and Proxima Midnight. This Thanos was from a three pack with Iron Man and Doctor Strange. I think there is an an unboxing on this channel for that particular Thanos. We have uh, Jeff Goldblum, the Grandmaster. Back here we got um, the Night Nurse from the Daredevil Netflix shows. Got Luis from Ant-Man and the Wasp and Ant-Man Ghost from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Back here we got the Punisher from the Punisher Netflix series and, of, and Daredevil Season 2. And we also have Hela and Scourge from Thor Ragnarok. Now some of these are in two packs, like Hela and Scourge and Ghost and Luis. I got those at Disney Store, but I think you can find them pretty much on clearance now anywhere. So yeah, this is just various movie figures. Now I'll start with the Amiibo. So, I have these arranged in how they are on the character select screen for on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So we got Mario, Donkey Kong, who was my first amiibo back in 2015, I think. Link, Dark Samus, who is a new one. Samus, Yoshi, Kirby. If you notice, um, some of this, like he's got a blue one and Yoshi's got um, a red one. Some of those are from different lines, not the Super Smash Brothers line, but they still work for the Super, Super Smash Brothers game. So, got Fox, Pikachu, another one of my first ones, Luigi, Ness, Captain Falcon, Jigglypuff, Daisy, Peach, Bowser, the Ice Climbers, um, Zelda, and Sheik, um, and Dr. Mario and Pichu. So, just... Here's kind of an overlook at the first shelf. Looking pretty good. All right, so this is the second shelf. Now this is mostly, I think, yes, it is my comic book figures. Um, I don't usually collect comic book figures. Um, sometimes when I need to build a figure, which is like when you buy six figures and you can build one figure, some of them come with comic book figures, so I just, have some. Some of them I did buy because I wanted them. So let's start. Um, let's start with here. So back here are actually all of the Friends pop vinyls. Uh, I know you can't see them, but it would be a hassle if I wanted to show you. So these are the first Friends series pop vinyls, which I believe are maybe hard to find. I have some pictures of my friends. So Friends on top of Friends. And this last one is um, Andrew. He was in two of my mukbangs on this channel. And they're actually all behind or in front of pop vinyls. So Ursula, we got Soldier 76 from Overwatch. I don't play Overwatch. I just have the pop vinyl. We got Wonder Woman. And this actually is a kid's menu from the Disney Wonder when we went to the Disney Wonder from Tiana's place. I got the, I saved this menu because it's a trumpet, and if you guys didn't know, I play the trumpet. So I thought this was pretty cute. And right next to it is this Mickey 90th pop vinyl. He's a Mickey conductor. I really like this one because obviously he's conducting. It's like band, and I'm in band, or I was in band. Got a Winnie the Pooh pop. And Doc Brown from Back to the Future. 
Okay, let's get into the figures. Um, sorry if I don't remember all of their names. I think I do, I don't know, we'll see. So over here we got Black Bolt. Black Bolt from the Inhumans. Uh, Moon Knight. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, he's a snake dude. If I remember it, maybe I'll add it as a caption or something. I think this one is Union Jack. We got Comic Wolverine. See if this will focus a little bit better. We have um, a game Spider-Man back here. This is his Velocity suit from the PS4 Spider-Man game. We have a more comic Spider-Man in front of the Velocity suit. And we have a standard Peter Parker from the new Marvel retro line in front of that. So it's kind of like, like a Spider-Man kind of line. Alright, so here we have the Iron Man the from the Marvel 80th anniversary. This is the Alex Ross variant, I guess, of Iron Man. We have Black Widow, comic Black Widow, Captain America from the Marvel 80th line, and Thor from the Marvel 80th line. I had to get all the big three, you know. Here's Jane Foster Thor, soon to appear in Thor Love and Thunder, Thor 4. Beta Ray Bill, interesting looking guy. Got Ares, got his, got Ares God of War, Ares Goddies of War. <laughs> Got Venom, Comic Venom. I want to get the movie Venom soon when that comes out. Got Comic Loki. Back there we got Taskmaster, the comic book Taskmaster. Mast? Taskmaster. There we go. Who is soon going to appear in the Black Widow movie in May of 2021. Got X Nihilo from the comic series. And we got Namor. The Submariner. Okay. That's all the figures on this shelf. Let's go to the Amiibo. Okay, so. What's this? Let's see if this works. Got Falco, Lucina, and Marth, Young Link, Ganondorf, Mewtwo, Roy, Krom, Mr. Game & Watch, Meta Knight, Pit, Dark Pit, Zero Suit Samus, Wario, Snake, Ike, Ivysaur, Charizard, the Pokemon Trainer, and Squirtle. So here's the second shelf. Now, some of these amiibo have come out, you know, over time. So, I've been collecting amiibo ever since the beginning and it's been quite a journey all right moving on to the third shelf this is probably the biggest shelf I would say at least the tightest shelf this is the main Marvel MCU movie hero shelf but as always we're gonna start at the back for their support some more pop vinyls I believe that's a Minions pop back there. These might be two Tomorrowland pop vinyls from the Tomorrowland movie 2015. Got a Suicide Squad Joker pop vinyl and two Captain America Civil War pop vinyls back there. Crossbones and an unmasked Black Panther. Okay, moving on to what's on top. I have pictures from our winter homecoming dance from this year. So there's that. Um, we have a Dorbs Stan Lee from the 2016 San Diego Comic Con. I did not go to San Diego Comic Con 2016, but um, usually they sell some of their exclusives elsewhere. So I got this from GameStop. We have a dance picture from 2016 when I was in eighth grade. And these are for Splatoon Amiibo. So we have Splatoon Boy, Splatoon Girl, and Callie and Marie. If you guys are Splatoon fans, like myself. If you guys didn't know, Callie and Marie make uh, Callie Mari. 
or calamari, I guess, calamari, because they're kind of like squids, I don't know. More pictures from my uh, winter homecoming dance, and this is from my band ball dance 2016, also 2016. And we have a Yarn Yoshi Amiibo. This one's actually soft, like yarn. We have a Chibi Robo Amiibo and a standard Waddle Dee Amiibo. So some Amiibo there too. Okay, let's move on to the meat of this shelf, which is the Marvel Legends. So starting from left to right, I have Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and Daredevil from the Netflix shows. I have Korg from Thor Ragnarok, Heimdall from Thor Ragnarok. I guess these are all, all four of these are from Thor Ragnarok. Korg, Heimdall, Valkyrie, and Loki. I try to organize it by group. It's easier to look at and nicer to look at. We have Bucky and Falcon. From uh, These are Infinity War versions. They don't have versions for their new show yet, but hopefully soon. A newer addition is Yelena Belova from Black Widow, which is not out yet, but I have a... They released the toys a little bit early because they weren't expecting the movie to be delayed, so there's that. I have War Machine and Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy 2, and War Machine is from Endgame. We have Vision and Scarlet Witch, soon to be seen in WandaVision on Disney+. Plus. This is not sponsored, but check it out on Disney+, Plus once it airs. These two were actually Toys R Us exclusives in a two-pack right before Toys R Us closed. So sad days, unfortunately. Over here we have the main Avengers, plus some friends. In the back, we got Hawkeye, the Iron Man Mark 85 from Avengers Endgame. We have Smart Hulk, plus the Nano Gauntlet from Avengers Endgame. Spider-Man from Far From Home. This is actually um, an SH Figure Arts, which is an imported figure from Japan. It's a more expensive, but more articulated version, so I, I liked that version. We have Infinity War Captain America. I'm looking for an endgame version, but it's hard to find. Thor, Captain Marvel, and Black Widow. Over here we got M'Baku in the back, Doctor Strange, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Back here we got Rescue. We have a little ant that came with a two-pack of Luis and Ghost. Over here we got Nakia. Lupita Nyong'o's character. And of course, the king himself, Black Panther. If it'll focus. There we go. <clears throat> Over here we have a new addition, actually. This is the Hugh Jackman Wolverine figure, who is not from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I wanted to include him in this shelf. We also have uh, Shuri and Okoye from Black Panther. Over here is the Guardians section, so we have Gamora, Drax in the back, Groot, Adult Groot, Yondu, Star-Lord, and Nebula. She's wearing the, the quantum time travel suit from Avengers Endgame. Okay, finally we have the Super Smash Bros. Amiibo on the bottom. So we have Diddy Kong, Lucas, Sonic, King DDD, Olimar, Lucario, Rob the Robot, uh, Toon Link, Wolf, The Villager, Mega Man, We Fit Trainer, um, Rosalina, Little Mac, Greninja, and the three Me Fighters. Okay, this is the fourth shelf now. The Power, we, this is where we start the Power Rangers shelf. So this is all Power Rangers Lightning Collection, which is a relatively new line. Um, I kind of have it displayed and just kind of whatever I thought looked cool. So let's start from left to right. There's actually nothing, no pop vinyl combo up here. So it's all just Power Rangers. 
Over here we have the three SPD Rangers, SPD Red, SPD Shadow, and SPD, SPD Omega. This was an Amazon exclusive and it came with the bike. Back here we got um, Alpha and Zordon. Zordon actually lights up and these two were Walmart exclusives. We have Time Force Red, Lost Galaxy Red, and the Lost Galaxy Magna Defender. And here we have a bigger display piece with the Lord Draken Evolution 3 Hasbro PulseCon exclusive. So this was supposed to be, I think, a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, but that didn't happen this year. So Hasbro posted their own convention, and this was their Power Rangers exclusive. So pretty cool figure. It didn't come with the stand. This stand actually came from um, a different figure. And here we have the main six Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Rangers. Black, pink, red, blue, yellow, and white. I don't have the Green Ranger yet. That hasn't been released. And over here we got some villains. Oops, got some villains. The two putty patrollers. This was a Hasbro Pulse exclusive on their website. Lord Zed. Um, Goldar, Rita, Repulsa, who was a GameStop exclusive in a two-pack with Lord Zed. So Lord Zed was released twice. I do have it twice. We have Lord Draken, who is the evil version of Tommy Oliver. And so is this one. This is um, his third form. We have Ranger Slayer, who is um, an evil version of Kimberly, who is the Pink Ranger, who actually later becomes good. But for a while she was evil. All right, let's talk about the Amiibo. Palutena, Pac-Man, uh, Shulk, GameStop exclusive, who was at the time, uh, Robin from Fire Emblem Awakening, Duck Hunt Dog and Duo and the Bird, I guess, Bowser Jr., Ken and Ryu from Street Fighter. So we got some more kind of third-party exclusive characters. Cloud from Final Fantasy, Bayonetta, Corrin, Fire Emblem Fates, um, Inkling Girl from Splatoon, so this is different from the other one, Ridley, um, Simon and Richter from the Castlevania series, King K. Rule, and Incineroar, who's a Pokemon. I guess I should have explained who these characters are. Oops, my bad. Okay, we've made it to the final shelf. This is just various Power Rangers Light and Collection figures once again. In the back we have four of the Dino Charge Rangers, gold, pink, red, and black. We have three of the Zeo Rangers, blue, red, and gold, in space yellow. And in the front we have the Beast Morphers team, which is the newest team. Check it out on Nickelodeon, Saturdays at 8. Um, also not sponsored, but... I wish. So we've got silver, gold, red, blue, yellow, and back we have the cyber villain Blaze. Woo! We have Dino Thunder White, which is which was a Walgreens exclusive. Dino Thunder Blue. We have the Psycho Rangers, which are evil Rangers. Black, yellow, red, pink, and blue were Amazon exclusive in a two pack, not two pack, five pack, and Psycho Green. Um, was a Hasbro Pulse exclusive on their website. And this is the Armored Red Ranger. This was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. But I got, I won this actually in a giveaway. So, pretty exciting stuff. And the last three Amiibo that I have, these are the only ones that are out. I have every single Smash Bros. Amiibo. I have Joker. Um, Joker, who's in the middle, he's from Persona 5. We have Hero from Dragon Quest and Piranha Plant. I know I did it in a different order, but oops. All right, that is every single shelf in this bookshelf. Now, this is um, filmed on October 21st, so things are, are subject to change. There are always new Power Ranger figures coming out. There's always going to be new Amiibo coming out, and... Marvel movies coming out, so this shelf will be updated when those come out. Um, I'll probably film maybe another update 
Not anytime soon though, but when it's different enough. So, yep. I want to thank you guys for watching this long video. If you made it to the end, leave a like. Comment what's your favorite thing on the shelf. And don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you can get notified whenever we post it. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!